I finally got to try the Wii U gamepad controller at Best Buy where it was set up at a demo station, only I didn't get to actually play games on it because the TV was not set up for some reason. The system was on, the controller was on, but it wasn't outputting the TV. And most of what I'm going to say about the controller itself, in terms of my personal experience holding it, is basically going to be the same as Shokyo's. So if you want, if that's all you want, you've already seen Shokyo's, you've seen a lot of what I'm going to say in terms of my actual hands-on experience with it. Only his is probably actually better because he actually got to play a game on it, whereas I didn't. Uh, I went there and it was set up. And well, as far as me actually using it, 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 it was very light. Uh, when you see a pad-like device, you automatically want to think it's a tablet. Like when you see pictures of the Wii U gamepad, you think it, people call it, have been calling it the tablet since it was first revealed. But when you hold it, you feel like this is not a tablet. This is, this is a game controller, not a tablet. It's very, like if you hold, ever held an iPad in both hands, uh, it's very heavy, it's very large. The Wii U gamepad, it's, it's a lot smaller, it's big compared to like a 360 pad, but it, which I, you know, I have a 360, so I know exactly what a 360 pad feels like. It basically feels, it might even be lighter than the 360 pad, as Shokyo said. It feels very light, it feels very comfortable. It's nothing like holding an iPad or holding a tablet computer. It is like holding a game controller. And I think really once this uh, controller, once once people get to use it, I think people are going to be less inclined to call it a tablet or a tablet controller because it's really a game controller. And when I held it, felt that. It feels... And it, what's surprising to me is that I play uh, Nintendo 3DS and it feels a kind of like that the way the buttons are, the A, B, X, and Y, only a lot bigger. It's kind of shocking how big the buttons feel once you get used to the uh, being used to the 3DS controls. All the buttons felt good. They're all easily accessible. The shoulder pads, the sh the uh, analog, the shoulder triggers are digital and not analog, which is you know disappoint, kind of disappointing for people who are really into shooters and like the analog controls. But they feel great. They're totally responsive. They it's kind of ironic that Nintendo doesn't have analog shoulder uh, triggers because the, they're famous for the GameCube shoulder triggers, which were like, like the ultimate analog trigger ever made, pretty much, to the point where they design entire games like Mario Sunshine around those analog triggers. But uh, really, I think to have big analog mechanisms like the GameCube controller really might have even added a whole ounce or two to the uh, the weight of the controller, and that it would, would have been a major... It, the, the controller feels it feels perfect, you, so there's really no problem as far as that goes. Anything anyone saying like oh it's gonna be hard to hold or it's too big, that's basically just forget forget all that. Now as for I didn't get to play it because when I was there, for some reason the 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 console was on, the controller was on and connected to the console, so I could access the demo. I could use navigate through the demo disc menu. But I couldn't actually play the games because for some reason the console wasn't outputting video to the TV, and apparently the con the, it seems like the the system doesn't even know if it's actually outputting to the TV or not, which is basically like you could turn on like an NES or a PlayStation One or whatever, and it'll it won't know if it's outputting to the TV or not. Same seems to be the case for this, whereas it didn't even realize there wasn't a TV. So basically, I'm. I only have half of the interface, so I couldn't play Rayman, the Rayman demo, because I only had could see what was on the gamepad screen, and whereas the TV was just stuck on the the TV's uh, settings menu. Uh, so that was disappointing. But I did get to hold it and uh, use the the analog. It has the clicking uh, analog sticks, like you'd expect. It it feels fine. Uh, so. The other interesting thing I really have from that experience of trying it out was when I came up, there was a family uh, sitting there. I think it was two sisters and a brother. They were all definitely under 10, 10 or under for sure. And the mom and the dad. And the, the, I think the kids were trying to tell the parents about it. And the parents didn't really get it. And the the kids were like, look, pointing to like all the stuff on the on the kiosk. It has like, you know how they have the kiosk and they'll have the things explaining what what it is and everything. And I think when the dad saw me looking at them, uh, pretty much he both of the parents pretty much wanted to get away from that Wii U kiosk as soon as they could. And they're like, oh look, someone's waiting to play. We have to go now. And they sort of just shepherded the kids away. 
And what I heard from the mom as they're walking away was she said, I don't even know what a Wii U is, which is like funny because it's like, well, there it is. There's your chance to learn about it, whatever. But yeah, she's like, I don't even know what a Wii U is. Like they sh should have already known about it. And then the, uh, the dad, as, as I was, as just as they're far enough away that I could barely hear them anymore, the dad's, well, I, I could hear them pretty clearly. They're right next to me. But as they were walking away from the kiosk, the dad said, all it does is open up a second window into your game world, which is the weirdest thing for him to have said to me because opening a second window to your game world is like a Nintendo PR line straight out of like the uh, the pitch for Wii U. So for him to say like all it does is open up another window into your game world, it sounds it sounded like really kind of sarcastic almost. I don't know. So uh, it's nice to see some in the wild responses from people who it's their actual first time being exposed to Wii U as a product. Uh, so, um, the, the kids definitely, uh, were aware of what it was. And I think, I think they would have had a, a, I don't know, I think they would have been more captivated if the TV had been working and it would have been more obvious what was going on because basically, based on what I heard them saying was they basically wasn't sure, weren't sure if it was a handheld or, or whatever, but that, if the TV had been on, that would have fixed that. So really that just had something to do with the, them being totally new to the idea of Wii U and the TV not being on. That that definitely doesn't help. So hopefully they, they get that set up properly so maybe next time I can actually play the Rayman demo. Uh, normally I do not actually look at the, uh, like with the 3DS, I didn't look at, I didn't play a 3DS demo unit. I waited till I actually had the system at, in my hands at home, like after launch day. Uh, Wii U, I normally would wait, and I didn't want to look at the gamepad in person, or, or, or like, or hold it, try it out for myself. But I'm pro I'm not gonna get, I'm not gonna get Wii U at launch. Uh, best case scenario, I'll get it in June, like the, like the day of Nintendo's E3 presentation. I'm obviously gonna go to the Nintendo World again, and uh, maybe if I walk away with a Wii U, that best case scenario is like, I don't think I'm gonna have Wii U any earlier than uh, June 20, 2013. Uh, if not, I'm, I, frankly, I'll be surprised if I even have a Wii U a year from today. Uh, so since I'm not getting it on launch day in, in less than a week now, I really wasn't concerned about you know having it be a fresh experience, not having it spoiled or whatever. Uh, so that's my impressions of the Wii U uh, gamepad. If you want a better impression of actual use and playing the game and how it feels to go from the action on the screen on the TV to the action on the gamepad screen and watch Shokyo's review of the uh, the Wii U demo kiosk. He basically d does a better job than I do because he actually got to play it. So uh, that's it for now, and thank you very much for watching.